Imagine that it's September 11, 2001, and the planes don't hit the, the tower. That's basically the gunpowder plot in 1606. They plan on blowing up Parliament, the king, his family, and, and basically everyone, but it doesn't happen. Um, the play centers around a religious um, uh, conflict between Protestants and Catholics, and the gunpowder plot um, in 1606 was a plot by um, Catholic noblemen um, to blow up the king. Uh, Guy Fawkes was one of them. He was a hired gun, basically. Um, and uh, the plot is thwarted. Um, they catch Fawkes in the process of doing it. So it doesn't happen. But the government tries the conspirators and the bad guy in our play, Cecil, Robert Cecil, decides, well, this is a great opportunity to um, pin this whole thing on Jesuit priests, Catholics in general, so we can get rid of those people. Um, and it's kind of, um, I guess, religious cleansing. Shakespeare is put in the position of, if, you, if you're the presidential historian, um, and Dick Cheney comes to you in 2001 and says, you know, write me the true um, history of uh, the Twin Towers um, and we want to pin it on these countries because we want to invade them and write, write the, the true history. And if you don't write it, you're going to get thrown into Gitmo uh, and you'll spend the rest of your life down in a dark hole somewhere. So what do you do? Do you write the truth um, and wind up in jail or do you write the government cover up? Um, what, what's your obligation as a, a playwright? And, and for my terms, I look at the playwright here as another version of the media. The government's lying to the media. And what's the media's obligation to fact check?